Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at correlations and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. So correlations. Correlational studies in psychology use a statistical technique that can tell us about the way two variables are related to each other. A correlational study is a study that investigates whether a relationship exists between two variables. A correlation requires that two variables are measured quantitatively in order for any correlation between them to be established. Therefore, data for correlations is usually gathered by self-report, observations, or physiological measures. Uh, this is what a positive correlation looks like. Uh, so as one variable increases, so does the other variable. For a negative correlation, uh, as one variable increases, the other variable decreases, and this is shown on this graph here. For no, when there is no correlation, uh, there is no real link between the two variables, um, and this is shown by that graph here. Um, scatter graphs are used to represent correlations uh, pictorially. Um, if you want to pause the video and have a read of these graphs, then you can. Strengths and weaknesses of correlations. Um, the strengths of correlations are that correlations allow us to measure the re relationship between variables which would be difficult or, un or unethical to manipulate experimentally. Correlations can be used to test for either reliability or validity. If the data gathered by one observer is similar to the data gathered by another observer, then there would be a co correlation between the data, uh, which is known as inter-observer reliability. Correlations can therefore be used to support the scientific creditability of research. The weaknesses of correlations, however, um, are that a correlation does not mean causation. So just because two variables have a correlation, it doesn't necessarily mean that one has caused the other to change, as there could be other variables at play. Uh, finally, we're going to look at Spearman's row correlation coefficient, which is always used when there is a correlation. Um, if your calculated value uh, for your test n equals or exceeds critical value, then your result is statistically significant at the chosen level. So you'll probably be given the um, calculated value in your exam and you'll be given a list, list of critical values. And you'll just need to um, remember that if it equals or exceeds this critical value, then it is significant at that, at that level. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry if I spoke a bit fast, but I hope you made some notes as I went along and paused the video. Uh, thank you for watching.